I'm a professor in the Department of Microbiology and Immunology at the University of Western Ontario, Sulex Globe Medicine. And uh, we've been uh, working on HIV and AIDS um, for almost uh, two decades. And we developed a prophylactic vaccine against HIV. And uh, that is in the, the phase one cl uh, human clinical trials right now. So we developed this vaccine based on the kill the whole virus vaccine strategy. Now there are three different types of vaccine available. And one is the live attenuated virus vaccine. The second one is a subunit protein-based vaccine. And third one is um, killed whole virus vaccines. To date, there is no vaccine available to prevent HIV infection. Our strategy has been somewhat different, and we want to use one of those three strategies uh, to develop vaccines. That is the kill the whole virus strategy. And no one has used that strategy other than one started but discontinued, uh, is known as reimmune vaccine. But so we have genetically modified HIV so that we can make large quantities of this virus. And we also made a genetic modification so that it is not as dangerous. It does not cause a disease uh, in the primate model uh, using SIV, which is semen immunodeficiency virus. So NEF gene deletion actually doesn't cause AIDS. Therefore, we deleted NEF gene and modified glycoprotein signal peptide so that can produce large quantities. And so we made this vaccine, uh, actually produced this um, uh, genetically modified uh, HIV, and then we inactivate them by two different methods, chemical and radiation. So the chemical that we used is known as AT2 or 2,2 prime dithiodipyridine which cross-links internal proteins of HIV so that it inactivates without damaging the structure uh, of the virus. And then we irradiate this virus and make sure that the RNA genome is completely inactivated. So we have produced this vaccine in GMP facility, gone through about 240 different tests to make sure that it is safe, including safety tests in non-human primates. Now this vaccine is in trial, phase one human clinical trial in HIV positive individuals, but who are still uh, healthy individuals. So this is to look at the, the safety of this vaccine. And then we can go on to the phase two human clinical trial, uh, where we are going to look at the immune responses of this, uh, against this uh, HIV using this vaccine. So uh, at that time, then we need a CTN to step in. And this actually, we are going to ask CTN um, uh, to try this vaccine in non-HIV uh, uninfected individuals in Canada. Uh, we have developed this prototype vaccine on the basis of so-called clade B or subtype B HIV. And subtype B HIV is prevalent in North America and part of South America, West Europe and Australia. So we have this uh, prototype vaccine. And for the proof of concept that we are going to try this in these regions. And if this one prevents HIV infection, then we can customize the vaccine in many different regions of the world. So that's where we are now. The, the vaccine that we have developed is for prophylactic vaccine. This is preventive vaccine for those people who are not infected. And uh, we have just finished developing vaccine against the HIV infect, well, HIV infection. That is, we can use this therapeutic vaccine to help out those HIV infected individuals who are still immunocompetent. Uh, they, they don't develop the, you know, the AIDS symptoms as yet. We can help them out. Now, by using this uh, therapeutic vaccine, uh, we should be able to do that. So hopefully, that this vaccine that we developed based on the recombinant vesicular stomatitis virus, and uh, we found that tremendous uh, promise in this the platform technology that we have developed. And hopefully that this can be used for treatment of HIV infection, as well as treatment of HCV infection, so hepatitis C virus infections. So we are now working on therapeutic vaccines against HIV 
and HCV. And we already have constructed all the, the vaccines. Now we are in animals to look at the immune responses. Thank you.